Hi, I'm Alexandra Page, the author of Wish You Was, The Tiny Guardian of Lost Letters. I'm here today in the underground tunnels of the mail rail where the story is set. Wish You Was is all about the secret lives of the sorters. They rescue lost letters and they live in hiding from humans. The story begins when Penny Black discovers a sorter called Wish You Was hiding in a drawer of her uncle's post office. It's set in smog-covered London in 1952, and Penny is drawn down into these tunnels where she discovers a lot more about the sorters than anyone else has ever known before. I was inspired to write Wish You Was after visiting the mail rail when I was seven. I came down here with my family, and back then the mail rail was still working, so there were trains rushing in and out of the tunnels, there were post sacks flying everywhere, and I was lucky enough to get to sit inside one of the trains for a few minutes. Years later, when I was working in London, I passed a building where the Penny Post was founded and I began imagining a story about a girl getting lost in the post. And moments later, this name Wishy Was popped into my head. And that little gatherer demanded to be written about. And all of those influences came together and created this story. So Wishy Was's world is a hidden underground tunnel and everything the sort is used is rescued in some way from the Royal Mail. So they use lots of abandoned furniture, items, objects, and knickknacks to create their world. They live in little letter boxes that have been thrown away. The door into their world is part of an old Royal Mail van. They use postal cardboard tubes along the ceiling to make their own form of pneumatic mail system. So they use lots of innovative ways to survive in a world in which they have to remain hidden from humans. That was a lot of fun to come up with. Um, I've done a lot of research with the Postal Museum and at the archive to look at all the kind of things that in the 1950s the Royal Mail used to use. And lots of those have woven their way into the story. My favourite character in the book is This Way Up. He's an ancient biscuit obsessed solver and he is in charge of solving lost letters after they've been gathered and brought down into the tunnels. This way up um, never lets a problem get in his way and he helps Penny and Wish Yours solve a particular problem of theirs but he's also a solver with lots of secrets which unfold as the story goes on. There is no average writing date. Um, writing can happen anywhere on anything. I really like writing on trains and I really like writing in really noisy places which might sound a bit strange but when I'm in a quiet room on my own often the ideas don't come but when I can drown out the hum around me and just get into my head and enjoy the story that's the best time that I write so that can happen anywhere that can happen on a bus that can happen on a train that can happen in a cafe in a library even waiting outside my daughter's school so I write anywhere and everywhere I can and it's a great way to just enjoy spending some time with your stories and your characters. My best tip for budding storytellers would be to just write what you enjoy writing. Try not to think too much about the words or whether what you're writing is any good. Just write what you really want to write and enjoy telling the story to yourself. So Lots of things that you can do to make that fun are reusing everyday things or places and putting a bit of a twist on them to make them something new. Think about the books that you really enjoy reading and see what the authors do and what you enjoy most about them. But most of all, just enjoy it, have fun. And if you have fun writing it, the chances are someone's going to have a lot of fun reading it too.